Hello and welcome back to Expo Hub channel. Today we will look at extract and validate using machine learning extractor. In the previous video I have shown you how to use form based extractor and how we can extract data from the documents that we have seen. So today let's see using machine learning extractor right. So this one we have already seen it. So let's look at and we will get demo on both PDF and receipt both the examples we are going to get it so let's go back to studio and start looking at it so first of all you look for machine learning extractor just type that and you'll find machine learning extractor let me drag and drop now many people may not find the machine learning extractor it is highly possible that you may not find it anyone who is not able to find this activity go to manage packages and here you have to install one package called document understandings. Just simply type document. Alright. And then scroll down. Scroll down. And you will find something called uipath.document understanding dot ml machine learning activities. So this is the one you need to install and hit on save. Okay. So once you do it, you will be able to now find out machine learning extractor clear now once you have this extractor just drag and drop this and you will find a prompt asking you for the endpoint now the question here how will you find this endpoint for this all you have to do is little bit of google on the uipath forum and you should be able to find that so this is the page and let me give it to you if you scroll down this page you will find this is the endpoint link okay for the invoice this is the endpoint link so i'm going to use this and i'm going to change the endpoint fine and this has to be kept under double quote so simply put in double quotes done and the next thing okay it is not accepting double quotes so let's put it this way and then api key so your api key is there i have shown in the previous video log into cloud.uipart.com click on admin click on licenses click on robot and services okay license licenses and then robot and services and here you have the api key so copy this api key go back to studio and paste the api key and click on get capabilities all right so now once you have this capabilities so it has put a double code automatically over here fine so now once this is done this is for the invoices.uipath.com so first of all let's go back to our downloaded invoices and let's copy any one of them a path so i will select this hit on the shift key right click copy as path go to your variable which contains the path link so let me delete the previous one and paste the new one okay just for learning purpose i'm just changing the pdf so you can do it so i have linked the pdf file link i have given so now the document variable document path variable contains it okay now what would happen in the machine learning extractor we need to configure a couple of things so let's click on configure extractors and maximize this page okay so last time i have used a form extractor why you saw why you are seeing two different pages if you use regex if you use any other extractor all this will come in block 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 manner it will come like it has come machine learning extractor so if you go back to your studio you see i have two different extractors so that's why it is showing two if you have three it will show three if you have one it will show one okay so now what i am going to do last time we have seen how the form extractor was able to pull all our uh, data invoice number bill to date everything using form extractor we are able to extract now let's see the capability of machine learning so the moment uh, you have enabled it if you have clicked on get capabilities already you will find a drop down if you are not finding a drop down all you do is click on this and click on get capabilities in case you do not see a drop down okay now what what you can do if you click on this drop down the first one is invoice number so by default you will find if you scroll down uh, invoice number okay there is already a default machine learning all you have to do is select this and you are done next is build to date build to date do you have due date is there date is there 
okay let's go with the date and see if it is pulling or not then amount due so for amount uh, you have something called net amount okay so try this so it's all about trying and seeing whether it is really extracting the data or not okay so you have to try and experiment several times so i have selected all the three machine learning inputs and all the form based i have unselected so it is going to only use machine learning at the moment so let's see how successfully it is going to pull the data if it is if it is failing at certain points i can use the form extractor because form extractor was able to pull all my data so depends there will be few things which can only the machine learning can pull properly there will be few things where form extractor is more useful or maybe regex so depending on the requirement we will choose okay and the speed right the speed here on the speed will be slightly low because it has to connect through the api key and get the data for you so it, it will be slightly slower end right so let's see so let's click on save so i'm dealing with invoice now all done you have configured and you are done all you need to do is now let's debug it and see getting it so let's wait for a moment it's quite easy just that you have to practice keep on practice okay digitizing document step has entered okay done classification process has started and it has classified and it from the array it is showing me the what kind of a document type it is so it's on invoice very good now data extraction it went to machine learning now it is going to show me the validation station where i need to select and and verify okay so it was able to pull the invoice number which is correct invoice number is correct right okay build to date no i want this build to this one ram i i need this name so this is incorrect so i will not select that amount due so amount due is fine right okay so these two things are fine for me so i'll hit on save now what i will do build to this is not able to it's not able to find this particular field right using machine learning so what i can do i will use the other option are you getting it so you need to experiment which one works best for you so once again let's click on configure extractor maximize the window and for the invoice for the build to date right so build to so here i uh, i should not use the machine learning rather i will use this one because my goal was to pull this one not build to date but it's supposed to be build to joy deep sahu okay so build to uh, i need to correct in my taxonomy uh, right so for the moment i am just selecting from extractor for this particular field okay build to so you understood right so build to i am i wanted to extract and other two i am using machine learning so it's a combination now so let's hit on save and run file all right let's wait so it has pulled invoice i mean classified as invoice now let's wait okay so now in the validation station let's see uh, so this time invoice number is correct bill 2 has come correctly so i am fine amount due date so now i am fine so i am using both form extractor and machine extractor for this invoice so depending on your invoice your document type so there will be so many complexities so you have to see which is the best for you okay so this is one of the live example so now i am fine right so now what we will do let's also try on a receipt so this is my receipt it's a image so let's try on this image and this is the this is the file shift right click i'm going to take the path go back to studio and here in the document path variable i'm going to remove this and i'm going to paste this one okay now it is a receipt very good now let's see uh, so what i have to do i have to again configure because i am providing a receipt kind so maximize this window click on receipts simple and here i wanted to use machine learning now to enable machine learning for receipt you need to click on this 
and this was I was using for invoices correct I was using it for invoices so let me go to the forum and let me use for receipt copy and I will change the endpoint URL key will remain the same just get capabilities just hit on get capabilities okay now if you click on the drop down here uh, vendor address phone number date total so bill number what is the bill number uh, bill receipt number is there right so let me use this receipt number fine bill amount for bill amounts currency total I think total so let me use total okay let's check our receipt uh, amount it is written as amount and total is also there okay I think it should be able to pull out so it's fine I'm using only machine learning for this receipt let's see how it is working save it and start running it so it is just different platforms I'm using to extract and whichever works best for me I will go with that there is no such rule that you have to only use form extractor or this or that combination of both anything you like you can use it that doesn't matter okay this time we have given receipt so we should get the type ID as receipt let's wait it is running okay so the type ID has come correctly very good now that message box is only for demonstration purpose okay in real project you don't have to put put that just for your learning purpose I have kept it now now let's see what is the validation prompt comes it's taking time You can always use the debug option so that you know where which block is currently running. Debug file you can run as debug file. Form extractor an error occurred while sending the request to the system dot http request dot exception did not work. Okay. So receive.uipart.com did not work. Let me also show you. Sometimes I have seen even the previous invoice.com works. So let's let's try that. So let me change this. Delete double code and paste the invoice endpoint and hit on configure. Maximize this. So I'm just experimenting. Now let's hit on receipt um, and click on this get capabilities for invoice. So the drop down will change. Okay. Now uh, here bill number for bill number. Okay, it did not change. Let me change it here. Okay. Now let's say bill number. So invoice number. I'm just using the ML for invoice. Let's see. Uh, then I want the bill amount. For bill amount, net amount. There is something called net amount. So let's see if this one is working. Okay. So for both of this, I'm going to use a, a machine learning and try it out. Save. Let's debug. Let's see how, how well it is going to work on receipts. Okay, digitizing. So it is using Omni page because it is an image and trying to digitize. Okay, this is done. Now it is entering classified document. Classified the document as a receipt, which is good. Now the next thing is data extraction. It directly went to machine learning okay and the validation page will come now let's see okay bill number it was able to identify which is perfect but it's not able to extract the bill amount so bill amount this one it is not able to extract so only it is able to extract one thing properly so let me use this okay now what I can do is uh, 
let me hit on configure extractor because I need the uh, bill amount also received and for this one for the bill amount instead of using machine learning let me use the form extractor are you getting it why I'm doing a lot of experiments because that's where you'll get to know ki if one doesn't work for you you still have another option to try for if then regex is also there using regex also you can simply pull those informations okay let's see okay classification okay receipt okay now you can see using the form extractor it is able to pull the data 90 rupees has come right bill amount so this is the best combination for me for this particular receipt so that that's how you need to find what is the best combination and which is able to extract the data that's where you have to validate that is why the validation station is very very important so the human being really validates and if there are any exception he can handle it right so present validation station you have understood and you have also understood how to use the machine learning extractor for both pdf and receipt but one thing that always would ring in your mind how can i do it for all multiple files if i have so many files how do i do it so we will learn it just after uh, after we complete the entire all the steps we will start working on the multiple files okay so for the moment you need to just try with one file and understand the concept how it is working then we will go for multiple files all right guys so thank you so much for watching we'll come up with more interesting and knowledgeable conceptual videos for you thank you so much please do subscribe please do like our videos please do share with your friends thank you bye bye